I'm at the beautiful Bali National Golf Club. This is the eighth green. It's a beautiful surface, probably running at about 11 and a half on the stimp, so it's quite quick. And we've had a question come in to uh, our program at Search for Scratch from Mal, and Mal's asking, Mal plays off uh, 26 handicap and wants to get to 19, and he has some issues on the greens with distance control and also reading short putts. So Mal, I want to take the opportunity to so firstly thank you for sending your question in, and uh, I'll share a couple of ideas for you that I think are going to help you that are very practical. I like the idea of things that you can do very easily, very quickly, so you can get on with playing the game of golf, which is what we all want to do. So Mal, the first thing is uh, getting distance control on the green, being able to get the ball to run out and get a little closer to wherever your target is. And you know, it's an interesting one because a lot of people have extra strokes in the three putt range or even four putt range because they just don't get that approach putt close enough. So hopefully this, this method I'm going to show you is going to help you a bit. So if you're inside six feet of the hole, what I want you to do when you're setting up is start with a narrow stance where the outsides of your shoes are about the width of your hips. So they're inside your shoulders. And what you do from this place here is the putter, the face of the putter never travels back further than the inside of the shoe. So this right foot is going to regulate the length of your backswing for short putts. So my ball position slightly forward to center, Mal, and then I go from here, I go back, and the putter doesn't go further back than there, and then I swing past my left shoe. This is important. So I go inside right shoe, past left shoe. All right, if you're a left-hander, this is my target side foot, my trail side foot. So I'm there, inside to outside. Just think about it like that. Inside right shoe, outside left shoe. Now, now I'm outside two meters. I'm out to about 15 feet are about five meters from the hole. And now I take my right shoe outside my shoulder. So I'm this far back and I do exactly the same thing. So I'm slightly wider stance. And this is keeping me stable as I'm getting wider for longer swings. So making a bit bigger swing, so I want a stable base. Now I'm taking the golf club back to the inside of the right shoe to outside the left shoe. Inside to outside like that. Now notice as I'm doing this, Mal, that I'm not wobbling around, I'm not using wrist motion here. I'm getting my arms and shoulders to work like, if you look here, it's like a Y shape and I'm powering it through my shoulders and my neck and back. And I'm just moving it back and moving it through using my shoulders and I'm not getting any motion down here. And this is kind of important because if you, the more wrist, independent wrist motion you get, the, the more inconsistent contact you get on your putt. Now we're going to the longer putt. So now we're outside five meters, the much longer putts. I go a bit further back, it looks a bit wide, but it actually isn't, and it's much more stable. Again, inside of right shoe, outside left shoe. Inside right shoe, outside left shoe. So that's the method we're gonna use. Now you can adjust your stance to find where you need to be. Now I'm gonna walk over to these golf balls and I'm gonna hit the three balls, first with the small stroke, then the second stroke, then the third stroke, and you'll see the balls will run different distances. We'll do that and then I'll show you uh, how you can read short putts. Okay, so the first one I've got here is the, the short range putt. So this is a putt of about two meters out. So the ball would only go over here somewhere. So I st set up, I've got a narrow stance going and I'm gonna take the putter back just to the inside of the right shoe and through past the left shoe. It looks like this, inside right shoe, past left shoe like that. And you can see it rolling out. Notice again, no breakdown in the triangle. There's no wobbly parts going on here. All right, next one's gonna go about five meters. So I step up and this time I draw my right foot further away from my left foot. Remember I was here, now I draw it a little further and now I'm sort of right shoulder or slightly outside there. The goal is back to the inside of the right shoe, outside left shoe. Let's see what happens. Back there, roll it through, boom, goes a bit further. Okay, good solid contact. Actually that went like a rocket but good solid contact's what we're looking for. Now onto the third one, we set up, draw the right foot further away from the left foot. So now much further, now I'm drawing the putter back to the inside of the right shoe and taking it through there like that. And we'll make the stroke the same way. And now we get a putt going a lot further. It'll go out of the camera view, but you can see that it's definitely rolled on. So we've got this progression. Now the idea here, Mal, is that you practice that you practice getting that to 
to go the distance. Now you can set some tees up on the green and just pace out the distances and then, and then putt and work out where your right foot needs to be in relation to the ball to be able to hit the ball the different distances. And that little system is going to be very good for you and very helpful in gauging how far the ball has got to go on a green. So I, I hope you enjoy that. It'll help you a lot. The next thing we've got to look at here is, is reading short putts. And I've got a great tip for you here. So when I watch people read putts, short putts, this is what I see all the time. I see someone go down and get down on their knees down low and they look at the putt and they're literally standing, in most cases, about a meter behind the ball. So they're looking down on a golf ball and projecting it out that far. What I suggest you do is you move further back than that now. So I want to see you move about five meters back of this ball. So I go back one, two, three, four, and five. And I look at it from here. Now I see things totally differently from here. I can see more, I can see a bigger picture. I can see the origins of some of the slopes. I can see if there's any difference in, in where the green is breaking Eat more easily from this distance here. So I can sit down here and straight away I can see that there's a little more break from right to left than I could see when I was only a metre from the hole. So reading greens is really important and there are different methods that are used, but I found the most important thing is get further back so you get a larger perspective, you get a bigger picture of the green rather than a very small picture. If I'm down here, you can see I'm not seeing much from here, Mal. From here, my focal point is sort of my range, my visual range is, is around here. I get back over here and I can see a lot more green and that's helpful here because that helps me narrow down so that I've got a clearer idea of where I want that putt to go. So in this case, I want to start it just slightly on the right edge of the hole and it's really quick down there and just, so I've got a narrow stance. In fact, I might, because it's so fast down there, what I might do, Mal, is move this foot even closer so that my putt is not going back very far. So I'm using that system. I'm going to take the putter back to the inside of the right shoe, just start it on that line and then run it out. Stayed straight, but the key here is it's really slick downhill and I don't want to hit it too far from the hole. So what I want you to do is just practice that regulating the stroke by reg regulating the distance of the right shoe to the ball or your trail foot to the ball like this. Practice the distances. And if you do this, what you're going to find, Mal, is that you start to hit the ball different distances on the greens and you're going to have a lot more confidence when you see the flag further away by hitting it closer you're going to reduce three putt tendencies you're going to get your handicap closer to where you want to be and we really appreciate you sending your question in the best of luck with your game Mal. well there it is we hope you enjoyed this lesson remember to share any questions in the comments below and feel free to share this video with your golfing friends we want to help you easily and effortlessly lower your handicap by four shots or more so we want to invite you to join our Search for Scratch program, which we've designed to help you find out how good a golfer you can become if you are trained with the best coaching model, practice plan, and course management system, all whilst developing a champion golfer's mindset. For more information, and to become another one of our success stories, visit searchforscratch.tv forward slash search for scratch program, or click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, commenting, and sharing this video, guys. We look forward to supporting your golf improvement in the Search for Scratch program.